everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can tell by the title, we're going to be doing a chatty little get ready with me. More so just doing my makeup with me. I'm not doing a full get ready with me. But I wanted to go ahead and just chat with you guys, talk to you guys. I know it's been a minute. And I'm going to show you guys how to create my go-to summer look. I've been wearing this look most every time I do my makeup recently. And I always get a lot of questions on it and what kind of lip I'm wearing and all that good stuff. So in the video, you guys are going to be able to see that. I'm going to take you with me and walk you through everything while also kind of touching on a few subjects and I hope you guys are excited for this video if you're not already subscribed go ahead and subscribe right now and if you want to see how to get this look you know what to do just keep on watching all right so we are bare skin right now. I have my eyebrows on because I always do this off camera because I actually have a video like dedicated to them. So if you want to see that, I'll link it up here somewhere. I don't know if it's on this side or this side. Click the little eye. It'll take you directly to the video, but I can also put it down below in the description. My face is like red right here and honestly, just my look. The second I sit down to film a makeup tutorial, my face starts getting red. I really don't know why, but it's okay because one of the first steps we're going to be doing today is foundation. So it's all good. So for primer today, I'm going to use the No Pore Blem Primer and it's by a brand called Touch and Soul and it's like a silicone base primer, but I really like it. And usually when I do my makeup, I pretty much do my eyeshadow first almost every single time. But with this look, I always do my foundation first because it's not really a lot of eyeshadow where there's a lot of fallout, I'm not using glitter, I'm not doing none of that for my look. So it's okay to start off with your base. So for our foundation today, I've been mixing these two foundations. I've been mixing the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation and then the Maybelline um, Super Stay Foundation. I don't have the caps for either of them. They look really yucky. Don't mind them, okay? I'm not really good at keeping the caps on stuff. And I like to do pretty much just like a pump of each on the back of my hand. I'm going to dot this all over my face. And these are both pretty full coverage foundations, so it makes it extra full coverage adding them together. I'm going to take my damp beauty sponge and start to blend this into my skin. Whatever is on here, I'm going to tap on my forehead. Honestly, sometimes I don't even put foundation on my forehead just because my forehead's so small. And I just feel like I don't even need to put foundation on it sometimes. But for the purpose of the video, we'll go ahead and put it on there. And don't forget to get your ears. I do that last so I don't get like too much foundation on there because it's kind of like a waste to put a lot on there. So for concealer, I'm going to mix two concealers like I did the foundation. I'm going to be mixing the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, which is like my favorite go-to all the time. It has been for a couple of years now. I just love the formula. It's lightweight. It's a good coverage. It doesn't crease on me. I just really like it. But I also do like the e.l.f. Camel Concealer. It's a little drying on its own. It's definitely lighter than the Maybelline one. And they're both in the shade medium sand and it's crazy how much lighter this one is so when i mix them together it's pretty good so i'm gonna go ahead and apply it onto my under eyes my chin my nose and a little bit on my cupid's bow and with the elf camo concealer i pretty much take whatever's on here off of it because it's so full coverage and a little goes a long way and i only put it like right in the front right underneath my eye right here to kind of brighten this area up and we're going to blend her out it honestly feels so good to be filming and doing my makeup because honestly I'd say about 85 to 90 percent of the time I'm in like bummy clothes and no makeup just chilling I don't get ready into my makeup often I have a little bit recently but just because like I've been going out doing stuff we just did our gender reveal photo so I got ready for that but I don't really get ready a lot, honestly, you guys. Like, I don't do my makeup a lot. I've been doing a whole lot of vlogs and 
videos like that, more lifestyle. So I definitely want to get back into doing more makeup. I just have honestly had such a weird makeup funk. Like I don't feel super inspired and I don't know what it is. Sometimes that just happens to me. I just haven't been into doing crazy eyeshadow, but I want to get back into it. If you guys have any suggestions on what kind of looks you guys want to see, let me know, please, because your input and everything means so much to me because this whole channel is for you guys, help you guys learn, teach you guys a little something, and kind of be a little escape for you. And that's what I want it to be for me again. And I just want it to be fun. I just, you know, want to bring back the makeup into my makeup channel. All right, so we look good. We look flat right now, but we need to set everything before we go in with everything else. So I'm going to be taking the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder. This is in the banana color. And it's my favorite powder right now. It has been for, I'd say, like a couple months already. I really, really like it. Very inexpensive. I love the banana color. And it honestly just works really well for me. I don't do, like, my crazy, like, baking right now. I haven't really been into it. So I've just been, like, gently setting it with my damp sponge with the setting powder. And then I'll go in with a brush and set it one more time and then use whatever's left on the brush to kind of set the rest of my face. I haven't done a lot of crazy baking. I used to do it every time I did my makeup, but as of recently, I'm just like, I don't really feel like it right now. So I'm gonna just gently tap to set the rest of my face and then set my lids as well. As you guys saw, I put the concealer and everything on my lid to kind of prep it for the eyeshadow. I'm gonna take a big powder brush just to set underneath my neck. All right, bitch, listen, let me tell you guys something. This eyeshadow look is like two eyeshadows. You're gonna be like, what? Two eyeshadows? Yes, you heard it here. You heard it right. And this is the palette I'm gonna be using. I've used it. I know I have one tutorial using this palette. I can't remember if I've used it again, but it's the Makeup Lip. Blah, 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 blah. What is it, Monica? Excuse me, come again. It's the Makeup Revolution um, eyeshadow palette. This is the Reloaded Iconic Neutrals 2 palette and it's like such a pretty toned palette. A lot of it's just like those warm tones, those basic tones that I feel like everybody loves and needs in their makeup collection and these work so good. I can't, I can't stress it enough. They are amazing and I'm really going to be using like two of these eyeshadows and you guys are going to be like whoa. For real. So the eyeshadows aren't labeled. They don't have names. So I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to be taking a, um, what is this? A Real Techniques brush. I don't have a name on here anymore because I've had it for so long. But it's a purple brush. I got it in a set of like five. And I'm pretty sure I got it at Walmart. So go ahead and check out the Walmart near you. And the purple set because this brush will be in it. And I'm going to be using this brownish red color right here. And we're going to apply it all over the outer corner and the crease. So I'd like to kind of just put this into my crease first and then I will start blending it out. I just like to get a whole lot of pigment, which isn't really hard for these eyeshadows because they perform so good and they blend out so well. Like, do you see it's already blending out? Ugh, so freaking good. So how have you guys been? Like what's up? What's popping? What's hot in the streets right now? I've been really good, you guys. But like I was telling you, like, I've just been in a weird makeup funk and pregnancy honestly has been giving me, a, like, some insecurities. Like, I feel beautiful and I feel so powerful creating human life, but at the same time, I'm kind of just like, ugh, like nothing's starting to fit me. I had to go buy stuff if I want to, like, you know, we're going to go out or we have an event to go to or something. Like, I have to go always buy something. Obviously, I knew my clothes weren't going to fit me forever. I was so into fitness and eating healthy and everything before I got pregnant. And I completely lost all of my gains. And I wasn't eating the best when I first found out I was pregnant. Like, when I found out I was pregnant, I was like, oh, I'm going to get big anyway. I'm going to, you know, get super pregnant. So why not just eat? in and out for like two weeks straight every day almost like it's not a big deal and then I always said I was going to be like a fit pregnant person in my you know with my next pregnancy and being so sick and just so tired in the beginning really set me back and just I'm getting a lot of memories on Facebook and like on Snapchat 
from like this day last year, this day two years ago. A little discouraging to know that I put so much hard work. It took me like two and a half years to get where I wanted and honestly it's all kind of gone now so it kind of you know makes me feel some type of way I'm not gonna lie and of course I shouldn't feel any type of way you know because my body is doing a beautiful thing right now and I do feel beautiful but I still have my days where I'm like crap like I was so where I wanted to be and now I'm kind of just obviously I'm pregnant and I know I'll get back to it but when I get reminded every day with the stupid memories, I'm like, ugh, I need to go to the gym. It sucks. By the way, I'm still going into that one brown shade and I'm just like deepening it. And this is the only color I'm going in with, by the way. Like, if you've been pregnant, you've had your children, you know, I give all of the mommies out there so much props because we endure so much. Our, we put our bodies and you know all of our energy into creating this life making sure that the baby's healthy and what's really important also is you know making sure you're also okay because it's hard but you know when you look good you feel good like that's kind of like how i am and sometimes i don't feel good and you know what it is okay it's fine i don't want to sound like a big old cry baby but sometimes you know it's hard, it gets tough, and I feel like people don't talk about it because they just want to be like this positive person, which I'm all about positivity, okay? I'm not trying to be negative, but I'm also a realist, and it's okay to have feelings like this. It's important to make sure that you still feel good because becoming pregnant, dealing with the pregnancy, and then after pregnancy, like I know you just don't feel like yourself. So if you feel what I'm saying, like you know exactly what I mean. Like if you've been in my shoes, it's easy for me to get ready, post these cute OOTDs on Instagram, this and that, but I'm still kind of a mess and I'm still sad sometimes with my appearance and things like that. So it's not always just like sunshine and rainbows. I don't know like why I had a rant on about this, but I just wanted to keep it real. Let you guys know how I was feeling like that because I do feel good, but I also don't feel good sometimes. And it's okay, you know, it's okay to not always be okay. It's okay to acknowledge the feelings you're feeling, you know, let them be, let them have their moment and then push them to the side, which I've been doing a lot lately and it's really been helping me. Because you kind of just have to let yourself feel your feelings and that's totally okay. You don't feel like you have to be so positive every single day because I felt like I had to be like that just because of my little mini social media presence and for YouTube and Instagram, you know, I don't want you guys to see the dark sides that I have sometimes and, you know, the downs, but it's real and I do and we all do and that's totally fine. So I want you guys to know that you're not the only ones. I might look like I have it together. I definitely don't. And that's kind of just what it is. All right, so that looks good right now. I'm gonna take this white color. It's more so like a satin, because it doesn't have a, like a like a shimmery tone to it, but it does have like a little sheen. So it's like a satin eyeshadow. And I'm gonna use this to highlight my brow bone and my inner corner. And it also kind of helps like clean up my eyeshadow on the top if I've taken it up a little too high. And this palette, you guys, is only like, $7.99. Makeup Revolution's brand just in general is like super inexpensive. I'm gonna highlight my inner corner. Kind of like go heavy and go ham with it and then just blend it out. And then I'm gonna blend out where the brow bone shade meets that transition warm tone shade. So what I'm gonna do now is take a little bit of concealer on my hand and just a light amount and I'm gonna take some on my finger and not do like a half cut crease or anything like that, but I do wanna clean up whatever got on our lid in this area. So I'm going to just pat on my lid. Cause this eyeshadow look is not like a half cut crease, this and that, it's just like a blended eyeshadow look. I'm gonna set it with this brush that I used to wipe off the powder. And then I'm gonna take the color that we put on our brow bone. I'm gonna put that on my head. For the lower lash line, I'm just gonna take that same brown cutter. All right, so the eyeshadow looks good right now. I'm gonna go ahead and finish like my face and everything, and then we will finish off the eyes with some eyelashes in just a moment. So what I like to do after I do my eyeshadow, I'll go ahead and just clean up the edges a little bit with 
my powder and then wipe it away. I don't need it to bake or anything. I just need to kind of clean up the mess I made. So I'm gonna take this Koki Cosmetics Powder Contour Palette. I think I've used it on my channel before, I'm pretty sure. It's been that long since I've done a makeup tutorial that I don't even remember if I've used it. But I use this every single day. I'm gonna take this middle color first just to really bronze up everything. And then I'm gonna mix these two together to do like a really light contour. So I like to first pat and then I will do this for the motions. What have been some makeup products that you guys have been loving? I'm thinking of doing a video where you guys, not that you guys like pick my makeup like I do a poll, but you guys tell me what you like and I will go out and buy it and do a video. So I'm using the makeup that my subscribers use and see if I can find some new makeup because I feel like that'll get me out of the makeup funk that I'm in. I have a lot of the same makeup that I've had forever. I haven't really gone makeup shopping. And it would be really nice to find some new products to kind of bring back that inspiration. The inspiration. So go ahead and like let me know what you guys use. Down below in the comments, I'll probably bring it to Instagram and ask you guys on there too. But if you're watching this, drop whatever products you love. Foundation, concealer, eyeshadow palette, setting powders. All that stuff. Let me know and I can definitely go out and buy it and I'll test test my subscribers makeup for you guys. Now we're gonna do a little contour. Little contour so we look chiseled, chiseled, chiseled. So since we're with the warm tones, peachy tones, all that kind of jazz, I'm going to take this Note Cosmetics um, Desert Rose Blush. It looks like this. I've actually been using this for quite a while, and I have so much product. It doesn't even look like I've made a dent in it. It's probably one of my favorite powder blushes. It's just so good. And I'm going to use this on the cheeks. And I'll go back in with my contour brush. To make sure that's all good and then i'm going to take some setting powder and carve out underneath this i do let sit there for just a little bit while i do my highlight and my nose contour so i'm going to take the same color i used to bronze to contour my nose i'm just using like a little flat eyeshadow brush carve out my nose contour i'm going to take this flat kabuki and kind of diffuse it and there you go i'm going to use the anastasia on um, Rizzi highlighter best highlighter in the world and uh, it's just what i use all the time i don't know what i'm going to do when it runs out because as of my knowledge as of what i know they're not going to come back with it i should have picked up more like look at that oh my god bitch bitch Bitch. I'm gonna put some on my little nose. And drag it up. Okay, we're gonna brush this away. Okay, now what we're gonna do is finish off the eyes, do a lip color, and then we will be all done. I feel like this video is probably long for a really simple look, but I'm just chatting with you guys. I like to talk to you guys, okay? I just miss you guys so much. So I'm going to use this Jessie Girls Dial a Lash. Honestly, it has these numbers on it, numbered 1 through 4. I don't know what they do. So let's see what the number 4 does. <gasps> I think I know what it does. Do you guys see how it's straight? See how it's all nice and straight? Watch when I start to turn it. It twists the band or the wand. <gasps> that is so cool. I can't tell you what that really does, but I was wondering what the numbers did. So I'm gonna coat my lashes with this Jessie Girl um, mascara. My mom got it for me. Ooh, I'm not gonna use this for my lower lash line. I have a specific lash line or la lower lash mascara I like to use. And it's the Catrice um, Glamandol False Lashes Mascara. They sent this to me a long time ago. I actually need to go get and repurchase a new one because it's almost out. I feel like it's already past what like the, the expiration date. Yeah, six months. I got this way longer than six months ago. And it just really brings them out like each individual lash. And I live, die, and breathe for it. I love it. 
And I just realized I don't have my lashes in my makeup room with me. I have the brand that I'm using and like my stack of them, which are the um, Salon Perfect 614 lashes. I love them. They're a really good everyday lash. But I have a pair I'm already using and I need to go get those. So we'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I got my lashes. So something I've been doing, because I don't do liner with this look, I've been getting my lash band and actually getting a liquid eyeliner and going over the band. That way I don't have to do it when I put the lash on and then worry about getting like liner on my eye and then it looks crazy. So I do it beforehand and it works really, really good. I feel like I haven't seen anybody do this. So I don't know. I don't really know if I discovered something here, but just get whatever liquid liner you use. Get your lash, like your, whatever lash you're wearing that day and just go over the band. I don't know about you guys, but I cannot apply my lashes without a set of tweezers. All right, let's put this baby on. Once those are nice and on there, I'll go ahead and curl them, like you said. Aren't those lashes just so pretty? They give me light. So much light. So what I've been doing pretty much every time I've done my makeup and this look, I line my lips with a brown lip liner and go on with like a nudish peach type of tone lip gloss or a liquid lipstick. Mostly liquid lipstick and then a top of the gloss. You guys will see. So I'm going to be taking the Jordana uh, Retractable Lip Pencil. This is in the shade Coco Loco. You can use any brown lip pencil you have. I'm actually going to highlight my Cupid bow now. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lip. We look extra taller right now. So what we're gonna do is blend it out with this little, I have a little angled brush. This is meant for brows, but I use it for this. I take foundation to clean it up so it doesn't like brighten it too much, it just matches the foundation. So I either use my Maybelline Superstay Matte Pink Liquid Lipstick, this does not come off. Or I use the Carity Lip Lock Liquid Lipstick, it's a velvet formula so it's a little bit more moisturizing than the matte one. But it doesn't have a shade name on it. It did, but it's gone now because it was a little sticker and it just fell off. But today I think we're going to do both, we're just going to fucking be that bitch today. We're going to do both, so here we go. When we top it with driver, it's going to make it look so good. So I'm going to blend this out. And then we're going to take driver and apply it right on top. So good. Now we need a gloss. So I honestly use a couple of different glosses depending on what I really want to do that day. Depending on what tone I want to keep with the look. So I have like a more coral one that will match like that first initial lip lock color we applied. I have a clear gloss to so just leave it how it looks. And then I have more of like a nude gloss. So I think I'm going to go in with the nude one. And we're going to apply her. Mm. So good, right? And lastly, to finish off the look, I'm going to do some setting spray. This is the Rose 3 in 1 Primer Water by Wet n Wild. It prep sets and refreshes your skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply a couple spritz. All right, and that is the makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair and put some earrings on really quick and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I just threw on some hoops and just pinned my hair back with some bobby pins. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and chatting with me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe right now down below. I think I'm like 50 to 60 away from hitting 5,000 subscribers, 5 fucking thousand, right? It's crazy. I have a box over here filled with all kinds of makeup and other goodies. I'm gonna be doing a big old giveaway for you guys. So one of you can be the lucky winner if you subscribe right now. So go ahead and do so. So thank you so much for watching and I will check you guys out in my next video as always. Bye.